My coverage of CES 2018 from Las Vegas, Nevada is brought to you by Cooler Master, Enermax, OCZ Toshiba, and Deepcool. Hey guys, I'm over at Main Gear at the Cosmopolitan, and they have a new, the, the, they have the perfect computer. So you guys don't need to build computers anymore because Main Gear made the perfect one. It's called the F131. It has a new cooling system called Apex. So let's take a closer look. So here's the F131, and it is completely kitted out. And what Main Gear has done here is they have completely designed their own chassis. This is an update to the existing chassis, but they have specifically designed it to integrate uh, this cooling unit over here, which is called the Apex. More on that in just a sec, but let's first take a look at this system itself. This is a fully kitted out version. So if you wanna buy a system that's based on this chassis, you can get one starting at around $1,600. Uh, if you wanna jump up to a higher end liquid cooled system, it's probably gonna start more in the $4,000 range and go up from there. Uh, main gear is definitely not inexpensive, but you do get a lot for your money, including uh, just some incredibly well done work in internally. Uh, they have some amazing system builders who put these all together. And of course, if you buy a main gear system, you're gonna get full support. So if you have any issues, you can just contact them, uh, whether it's a driver problem or whether you're just worried about how you're gonna drain your loop or anything like that. They also have uh, service plans that you can purchase as well. So this system as set up has an 8700K, 960 Pro SSD for NVMe and dual 1080Ti's down there at the bottom. This is a random thing to point out here, but uh, I, like their, I like their PCI Express extensions. They're, they're actually kind of pretty and they're all black. But anyway, beyond that, of course, uh, full custom sleeved uh, power supply. And in fact, power supply sits behind the Apex unit right there. Um, now, because they've designed this specifically with water cooling in mind, it means that they have proper mounting points for all of the heavier water, water cooling components that you might need to install. And it also means that they have fit this in a really narrow footprint. So it's a, it's a little on the taller side, but uh, the trade-off is, of course, very narrow from side to side. And if you have a smaller desk, then you can, of course, set that right on top of it and got plenty of room still. IO is right up here on the side, so very easy to get to. Uh, power button, of course. Three, I'm sorry, four USB 3.0 ports, and also uh, a USB Type C, and that's a uh, 3.1 Gen 2 port. So you get uh, your 10 gigabit per second connection right there. Now let's talk a little bit more about this Apex unit. Um, now, if you get the F131, uh, you can get it water cooled without the F131, and the water cooling upgrade is going to run you about 500 bucks. The F131 on top of that is going to be 299. Uh, and they are actually considering making this available to system builders. Uh, I'm so, not system builders, but to you guys at home who might want to build your own system. This is something that you really can't do if you're just building a system at home. Uh, even if you're getting really nice custom water cooling parts, unless you got a CNC mill at home or something like that, you're not going to be able to put together something like this that looks this clean. Uh, even s details such as all the angles are all at the same they're all going the same way at the same angle, so that uh, lends to the overall cleanliness of the build. Uh, they've even internally uh, added baffles to the point so that your uh, outputs, your two liquid outputs here, are going to be delivering liquid at the same flow rate to your GPU and your CPU at the same time. And that's definitely a concern if you're setting up a custom loop and you're splitting it. Now the Apex itself uh, has a bits power pump that is uh, sort of fitted in the back there. Actually, it's got dual pumps, so it has a failover. And that's another thing that you're not necessarily going to get if you, well, you, you can build your own setup that way, but getting something that's this compact is very difficult. These are DDC pumps, so they're going to be nice and quiet. The system that they have set up here, you can just, you can barely hear at all. And then uh, furthermore, down at the bottom, they've added at the lowest point in the loop, a, a drain or bleeding loop. So you can easily drain the system if you want to replace the fluid or if you're using some fancy Mayhem's fluid like they have here and you don't want to leave it in there all the time. Uh, being able to easily drain your loop is pretty important. All the liquid cooling is fed up here to the top radiator that goes across the entire top of the case. It's a 420 millimeter radiator. And I asked them about filling and you can actually uh, release the top of the case and it kind of hinges at the back and you can lift that up a little bit so you can get in to the fill ports that are on top of that apex unit as well. Lastly, there's also a temperature sensor integrated into the Apex, and that is a great solution if you're setting up a water cooling loop like this, especially depending on what you're doing. If you're gaming, you might have uh, your GPUs getting uh, hotter. If you're doing uh, video rendering or something like that, your CPU might be getting hotter. So being able to adjust the pump speed or that kind of thing based on the temperature of the fluid is actually a great way to go uh, with a water cooling setup. So the Apex is definitely 
a pretty amazing unit that includes a reservoir, dual pumps, uh, fill, oh, did I mention the flow indicator? Gotta have a flow indicator too. That's, that's what liquid cooling is all about. I uh, got the drain port pumps, and it's all a very, very clean looking unit. And of course, slots right into the F131, as you can see here. And I almost forgot, but there's also an integrated LED strip that runs down the side here. So uh, you can swap that out. It's uh, RGB by default, but for example, you could do a fancier LED strip in there if you wanted to switch out to maybe an addressable LED or something like that, or um, possibly even UV. I thought that system over there was UV, but it's not. It's just, it's green fluid with, uh, with blue lighting on it. So of course, main gear is all about customizing your system, whatever you might happen to want to put in it. Uh, they'll work with you to put the hardware you want to get to a price point that you want to work with. And they just have a few other examples here of just some amazing setups. This one is a black system with gold accents. They have black Mayhem's fluid in there gold fittings, uh, white LEDs. Uh, bear in mind also that all the LEDs on the case are RGB capable, so uh, your main gear logos up on the front as well as the LEDs in the case will all sync up together. They also have a ton of custom paint options. They're showing me this one here, which has a new method they're using called Mark II, which basically allows you to take a design. They just have sort of a, a fractal or I, I don't know what you want to call this design here, but uh, just some geometric patterns that they have implemented onto the side of the case. So you could actually send them over your own design if you want to, to have applied there. They also provide an automotive, automotive uh, paint jobs as well. So uh, that's a really cool feature. This one's just a nice clean white finish uh, with some blue as well as some RGB going on inside. And then over here is a great example of uh, one of their custom uh, automotive paint jobs. It's kind of difficult to see with the lighting, but uh, depending on the angle that you look at it, it kind of shifts between black and purple and almost red, uh, which is actually a really cool effect. And again, these are automotive paint, uh, automotive quality paints. So it is a little bit more expensive, but um, they said they have a guy who does, uh, previously did painting on supercars and that kind of thing. Yeah. So you're gonna get a really high quality uh, finish if you decide to go that route. Finally, here's a look at uh, the Main Gear and HP collaboration. Uh, HP has their Omen chassis, and Main Gear takes it and basically kits it out with an incredible water cooling setup. Uh, they're using all straight runs here. Oh, if I didn't mention, by the way, um, if you're setting up an F131, you do have the option of going with hardline or uh, soft tubing, so that's a nice option as well. Uh, but over here we can see some really clean straight runs in this blue accented build uh, in the HP Omen, which is just again, the systems they brought here are, are really nice. Also, they wanted me to point out, these are not necessarily showpiece systems that they've put together just for CES. This is the exact same quality that you'll get if you actually go ahead and buy a system from Main Gear. But guys, that's gonna wrap it up for my coverage here at the Main Gear Suites at the Cosmopolitan. Stay tuned for more coverage from CES 2018 from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And of course, a big thank you to my sponsors for this event, OCZ Toshiba, Cooler Master, Enermax, and Deep Cool. We'll see you guys in the next video.